you recently were like, where were you? Like a, a, a rental car place or yeah, something? Yeah, it was. It was here in Nashville. Okay. And uh, I, I was at Thrifty Rental Car. I'll give them props because I've been using them for a while. They've been great to me. So I'm, I'm going to Thrifty. And there's this guy there. His name's Spencer. And uh, I know he listens to the Way FM. So what's up, Spencer? Nice. And, uh, and he said, um, he's like, he's, he's looking at my, he's taking my information. He's looking at my, my license. He was like, Schust, Aaron, Aaron Schust. Um, oh, you, are you a singer? Like, uh, I am. I'm like, not sure which way this is going to go. Yeah. And he said, my kids love your song. What's the name of your song? And he's racking his brain. And I'm going I'm to give him a second, then I'm going to prompt him. And he's like, yeah, because you want to be kind and kind of sure. help them figure it out. And not be like, obviously, oh, here's the song they love. Right. You know? So I'm thinking, maybe it's probably my Savior, my God. A maybe my one. hope is in you. A great one. Um, thank you. And so he, all of a sudden, it hits him. He, he points at me, looks, dead me, looks at me dead in the eye. Send the Bears. I oh. heard you on the Wally show. Send the Bears. My kid, you're the Send the Bears guy. The best song you have ever written, by the way. Uh, apparently. <laughs> apparently. We had Aaron on and we're like, okay, you know, everyone writes uh, easy songs out of the Bible. You like Tomlin. He just cherry picks and it's so easy for him uh, to write these songs about stuff you know, in it the takes, Bible. It takes nothing, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like four words and three chords. Done. Uh, and so we thought it'd be fun to challenge uh, uh, an artist of Aaron's caliber to write something out of the tough for uh, Bible verses in there, and there's the one uh, about sending the bears, and they ate children. Yes, well, we had, you had people call in, say, "Stump yeah. Aaron, give him your hardest, give him your hardest uh, verses you could think of." And you had the second guy that called in said, "There's, a, I forget what it was, but it's Elijah." Yeah. So Elijah's going to be maybe Second Samuel, Second Kings, Second Kings. Yeah, Second uh, Kings. That's what I was going to say. And uh, of course, of course, <laughs> uh, first, first Queens. Yes, no, that's de- de- definitely Second Kings. I don't know the verse, but I, I know it's actually page 475. Exactly. In, in the hymnal? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> Turn to page. No, but so um, there's Elijah evidently is bald, as we read from the Bible. He's a, he's a bald guy. And these kids, these teenagers are making fun of him. Um, and he basically, as a prophet of God, says, you don't make fun of the Lord's prophet. And he calls 42 bears out of the woods to come and maul them. I have never tried that strategy before. I... Well, first I got to become a prophet, but after that, I'm calling bears. Like, how awesome is that to be able to have that kind of power to call bears it, to mess with to mess you know with what? people that mess with you? It was it wasn't 42 bears. It was like two bears and 42 kids. Did I say that backwards? Oh, Whatever. it doesn't matter. Like, Research it on your own. Kids were mauled. Oh, yeah, exactly. I think we're losing sight of what's important. <laughs> what's he called in bears and children were eaten. Incredible, like, and that's that's in the Bible. So that was the, that was the uh, the challenge to write a song, a yeah. worship song. Yeah. Ab- about that. And there's never a flannel gram on that in Sunday school. Like, there's <laughs> never one of those. If it's for sale, I want to purchase it. <laughs> exactly. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do uh, the best song that Aaron Schuess has ever written. <laughs> it's uh, his version, is original of Send the Bears here on The Waltley Show. Mm, go away, Baldy. Go away, Baldy. That's what they called me. A prophet of God. Yeah, go away, Baldy. Go away. Go away, Baldy. That's what they called me, a prophet of God. Well, we're not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> no, send your bears. Oh, send your bears. Send them out of the woods and maul all 42 like Elijah do. Lord, send the bears. <laughs> that is awesome. I actually would actually raise my hands to that. <laughs> we haven't seen each other uh, for uh, quite some time now. You've been busy. It's been a couple of years. I have been busy, and I've, I've, I've spent a season busy at home. This is 10 years for me of what I call road ministry. So this really? spring, I decided not to tour, but I've been working on a new record and taking some worship ministry, worship leading opportunities. So well, I've, been, I've been busy, but uh, it's been a while since we've hung out. Yeah, well, th- yeah well, that's cool, though. I mean, I, it'd be great to have some new music from you. I mean, I love what you've been doing uh, lately, obviously. Oh, thanks, um, yeah, I'm excited about the new stuff. So what does downtime look like for you, then? You're like, okay, you're go, 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 and then you just stop doing what you do and what you've done for the last 10 years. What does that look like? It makes you reevaluate because, you know, you always hear that as men we take pride in what we do. So when I'm, after a busy fall last year and even a busy Christmas, you know, my Christmas record came out. So going around and doing that stuff, uh, it's go, go, go. And, and to say, okay, I'm just going to stay home. First of all, it's a big risk because when, when, you know, as musicians, 
uh, whether it's just going out on the road, there's income when you when you do shows, and then there's income whenever you sell records at the shows that you do. Right. So there's a double whammy where I'm not getting any income. Right. So uh, you know, try explaining that to the manager and the and the record label. But it's so you, you you stay busy in a different way. But for me, it was it was an important say. Let's hey, this is ten years. Let's reevaluate what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, what I need to be doing, what God might have for me in the next ten years. So um, you know, I'm home. I, I also stay busy. You know, shoveling the the snow and playing with the kids and cutting the grass now and so just doing home stuff but it's way it's it's an interesting it's an i'm definitely not lazy i've been telling people listen i'm not off i'm right. just off the road well we're talking to aaron schust and, and be honest here though but about about probably a month into being off the road and at home was your wife like you have to go back on the road <laughs> like were you just driving her crazy you know what no i'm um, i mentioned the album that's coming out so i i, I scheduled myself a bunch of writing dates at home in Pittsburgh on Skype with people down here in Nashville, Atlanta, other places that I know and I trust that I love. And so I would seriously disappear, even though I'm in the house, I would disappear like at a certain time of the day for a certain time. And just, you know, I would, maybe I come up for lunch, um, but I, I would disappear. I would. There is something that wives like about that though. Like I know my wife likes me home. Even if I'm working, she likes to know that I'm, that I'm home. Cause she, she's like one of the few people in this world that like me. And so, uh, <laughs> like, so she likes that, but I know guys that are on the road, either musicians or like even sales guys, like they'll be gone. And then when they come home, they drive their wife crazy because they want to do what guys do, and that's lead and 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 run mm. this thing. And and the wives are like, look, I do this nine months out of the year while you're gone. Yeah, it's been going fine when yeah. I'm gone. Now you come back and you're like, hey, we need to do this. The kids need to be in bed at this time. Yeah, no, listen, exactly. I, seriously, I got this. But at the same time, there's there's you know, she, my wife, you know, of three kids, two of them with with special needs that just keep her a little extra busy. All of a sudden, I come home and I'm two extra hands who can help. Yeah, you know, and I'm used to doing what I'm used to doing. And she's like, no, I need you to. to so it, it takes about. It's the greatest. He brings a roadie home with him. He's like, I'm not. Cl- I'm not picking up a kid. He snaps, and a roadie comes out and picks up the kid. That's ingenious. Hey, babe, what's for catering tonight? I mean, yeah, uh... exactly, exactly. You're such a rock star, shoes, and I love it.